um, hello all in this video uh, we'll see how to import xls file into informatica so uh, the xls file which we create in that uh, we'll add data in two separate tabs in one tab we will have employees data and in another tab we have department department's data uh, we'll remove this particular tab though it is not required to do so we'll add the data now so uh, make sure that uh, you will always include even the headers if you don't uh, do that if you don't include the headers in your xls source file then uh, the mapping the or the select statement at informatica level will fail so uh, we will verify that uh, at end of this uh, video employee department while saving we will save that as uh, xls 93 2003 workbook uh, in the old format we will insert the department's data So we have done with the source files, we will copy this source file at uh, VMware level uh, where m our informatica is installed. Okay. Uh, in order to import this XLS which we have created now we first need to create the ODVC connection for that uh, just go to control panel administrative tools and over there just go to ODVC create any ODVC connection uh, select the excel driver microsoft excel driver that will be yeah. give the name of your ODVC connection my new Excel connection uh, description will be employee and department data select your workbook which you have created just now employee department one more thing which we have forgot is after uh, creating the XLS uh, the very important point is we have to define the range so just select the data which we have uh, created go to the formula tab over there you have define name option just define the name so we will give name as employees and for department we will give the name as departments So this is very important step if you miss that uh, your data or your tables will not appear at informatica level so i will again copy that uh, excel sheet over here okay again select the same excel sheet ok so we have done with half of the work now we just have to import it this import it as a source so go to the sources click on import from database select your ODB, this odbc connection which you have created Again, add drop down your select your ODBC, ODBC connection. Just click on you don't have to specify any username and password. Now, whatever the two tabs which you have created over there and the name which you have defined, 
those two names will appear over here so uh, the basic thing is the tabs which you have in the excel sheet same tabs will appear over here after importing it so you have uh, in this case we had uh, two two separate tabs so those two separate tabs appeared over here if you have n number of tabs those will be as many m n number of tabs will appear over here just click on yes now these are your these are our two uh, two sources which we have imported from the excel sheet now just create a new mapping create m uh, excel test excel test 2 So now what we will do is, uh, we will create a target such that target will have uh, uh, employee name and department name. So department name will come from the departments table and employee name will come from employee table. To join this particular table we will require joiner. So we will do the join based on the department id column because department id column is the common one. department id from departments table and department id from the employee table and we will add department name from departments table and uh, employee name from employee table we will define a condition so that will be department id and department id one from employees table and one from the departments table we have we already had target created as employee department so department name will get connected to department name and first name will get connected to employee. we'll save this mapping so mapping is valid we'll create a corresponding workflow go to workflow create wf new excel test just save it again create a task create s new test select the mapping which we had created so that will be m excel test 2 just link these two tasks start and uh, no task which we had created just save it now just run the workflow so now you can see that the data got inserted uh, departments table had 10, uh, 27 records employee table had uh, 107 records and totally 107 records got inserted at target table so that's because one particular record uh, one particular department or one particular employee must not having have a depart corresponding department so we will verify that select star from employees where department id is null so there is one record for which department id is null as we had defined normal join at joiner level uh, only 106 uh, records got inserted so what we will do is we will uh, we will change the nor uh, join from normal to uh, outer one so that all first name is the master so we will define detail outer join so that all 106 records will get inserted
yeah so all 107 records got inserted now as we uh, change normal join to outer join uh, one more thing which we have to validate is uh, if we don't select column headers what will happen so what we'll do is we'll delete these column headers We'll save it. We'll copy this XLS again. Now this XLS, our source in uh, our source do not have headers defined. We'll re-import our sources. Go to the source. Import from database. just replace the sources first column is the department id and over here last column is the department id department name is the second column over here and employee name is the first column in employee step, second column in the employee table so we'll save this mapping is valid we'll just refresh the workflow and we'll execute the workflow so one workflow is valid. Let's see what will happen after running this workflow. So if you see our workflow got failed, giving error that the SQL query is invalid. So if you see the actual SQL query which got created is uh, column name with F1 and uh, administrator which is not true so while importing the XLS at Informatica make sure that the source data which you create will always have column headers defined over there thanks for watching this video